Hi, I'm Matt Paulson, and today we're talking about how tensioners fail. During this video, you will learn how belt length affects a tensioner and how to check a tensioner for failure. There are a lot of ways tensioners can fail. Sometimes it's not even the tensioner's fault. For example, the belt will wear over time. As the ribs of the belt wear out, the belt is going to sit deeper in the pulley. When that happens, the belt is a little bit longer because it's worn. As the belt elongates, the tensioner can no longer apply the proper amount of tension because it's beyond the tensioner's operating range. Different belts also have different length tolerances depending on the manufacturer. So if the belt is shorter or a little bit longer in length, it may be outside the tensioner's operating range, resulting in over or under tension. Tight belt tolerance makes for the best power transfer from the crank to the accessories. Many times, another component will fail. If the belt tension is too high, it will put a lot of stress on other bearings in the system. For example, an alternator bearing might fail because too short of a belt or a non-original equipment style tensioner is used. If the belt tension is too low or the belt is too long, belt noise will be created by belt slip. This indicates the belt cannot effectively transfer power and now all of the accessories in the system are operating less efficiently. The biggest issues with tensioners are time and contamination. A tensioner will cycle a billion times in 100,000 miles. Grit and grime, combined with time on the road, especially in hot or wet environments, leads to increased contamination inside the tensioner. When that happens, the tensioner is not able to operate smoothly from stop to stop. It's easy to check tensioner for wear. First, ensure the pulley spins freely. Then, cycle the tensioner from lock to lock, looking for smooth motion. Our motion toward the engine or away indicates pivot bushing wear. Binding could be bushing wear or spring binding. Contamination can cause pivot bushing wear. Pivot bushing wear results in misalignment between the base and the arm of the tensioner. This leads to misalignment between the tensioner, pulleys, and the belt. Now let's consider pulley design. They're plastic, steel, grooved, flat. The important part is that they all have bearings inside. After years of service, these bearings lose grease and wear out. There are many potential causes for that. Heat can allow the grease inside the bearing to seep through the bearing seals. When you lose the bearing grease, it increases the operating temperature. When bearing temperature increases, you lose more grease. Soon after, you'll hear noise and the bearing will fail. The typical reaction to this problem is to just replace the tensioner pulley. However, that's not the best fix. You should consider that the other components of the tensioner may have already surpassed their service life, and it's only a matter of time before they fail. For this reason, you need to replace the entire assembly, including the tensioner and belt. The majority of the cost is in the labor, so it makes sense to replace everything at the same time. Thanks for watching.